Here's what you need to do to convert the cube base to playing position. First, you'll need to remove the two wooden spinner nuts. Next, remove the neck from the body and set it aside. Flip the body over to its upright position. Place the neck in its normal playing position on the body. And lastly, replace the two wood spinner nuts. Snug the nuts up a bit and you'll be ready to play. Lastly, the tailpiece is attached by placing the tailpiece loop over the end pin and attaching the tailpiece to the bridge end of the neck center section. The cube base is quite comfortable to play when seated. The end pin is easily extended as needed for playing in a standing position. The body shape and weight contribute to comfortable playing in a standing position too. The cube electric upright base is carried easily by using the body crossbar. The body crossbar also houses cable connection jacks for flexible transducer and pickup output routing. The piezo based body transducer slips under the crossbar and is held in position by the tensioning wheel. The transducer cable is plugged into jack number one located on the crossbar. A standard guitar cable can be inserted into the center jack to route the body transducer output. The piezo based body transducer can be adjusted at this time for optimal output and tonal quality. The transducer adjustment wheel tip is placed into the center positioning hole under the crossbar, the slack taken up in the adjuster wheel, and the transducer shifted until it sits squarely upon the body surface. The wheel can now be tightened until the output level increases to its maximum. One to two finger notches of tightening will prove sufficient with further tightening adversely affecting the tone and risking transducer damage. Here's an example of what it sounds like as proper tensioning is applied. There are four additional holes to the left and right of the center on the underside of the crossbar that can be used to position the transducer if the tone is perceived to be superior at any one of those locations. A standard guitar cable can also be used to route the magnetic pickup to amplification equipment. Two separate standard cables can be used to individually route the outputs to the amplification equipment also. The magnetic pickup is normally connected to the crossbar jack using a short patch cord inserted into jack number two. A tip ring sleeve cable is normally used to route both outputs to amplification equipment using a single cord. The access port in the skeletal frame serves as a path for the output cable. The tip ring sleeve cable can terminate at a simple splitter box to feed the individual output signal to amplification equipment if desired. The tip ring sleeve cable normally terminates at a dedicated dual channel preamp for easy control of the outputs before they continue to auxiliary amplification equipment. The gain levels as well as base, mid, and high EQ for both the body transducer and the magnetic pickup can be individually tailored with small internal trim pots with the K&K dual channel preamp shown here.